good day friends it is me hl mod tech and i am back with another awesome video so let's get cracking friends this is my led sign i've already went through this tutorial if you haven't seen it i'll make sure it's up in the corner friends let's add some electricity so real quickly this is the version one back as you can see those little pegs slide in and it snaps together and everything holds up pretty good I've got a little bit of hot glue from me assembling it a little while ago that is blocking a few of those corners, but you can see that was how version one. Once I had the idea figured out though, I knew I needed to add room for components. So this is version two. Of course, I did not have enough room. So then we finally made it to version three. As you can see, snaps together super slick and we're ready to start putting those components in there. Once again, a little bit of hot glue is keeping it from being completely closed and that's where the cables will come out when it's finished. Once again I do want to highlight how slick I think the system is. The Tinkercad SVG tool makes this so darn slick. Before we go any further though I want to talk to you about my LED lights. I did not know where I found these but I knew I could power them up and they turned green. I finally found a part number and these are actually stolen from a quadcopter. I had a Phantom 3 that I cracked the frame and these came with it. So these are quadcopter lights and I can't change the color, but they do work pretty darn well for my first test of the project. I have simply soldered all the power connectors together and the ground connectors together. And then I'm simply ignoring the yellow wire. Let's real quickly get these placed in here. I used holes and grouped them so that there was room for the part to sit in there quite easily. And then simply hold it in place as it cools, which with hot glue is pretty darn efficient. Of course, now it's the same step, but on the other side, once again, just extending these so that they light up the entire sign. Note I did also put a bit of hot glue on the black wires to hold them in place too. And here's what it looks like when we orient the other parts Notice I've got them just floating in there and I'm going to leave them like this. I've got the little yellow wires out of the way and I've got these ready to be connected to my little power connector. So here we have a power brick I saved, 4.5 volt DC, 250 milliamps. Of course we also have to note that the inside is positive and the outside is negative. And this is a custom 3D printed adapter I've made. You can see this one's a little bit snug. But that's the beauty of it being 3D printed is that I can back up and fix that and get it back working in just a few minutes. All right, let's do one final alignment. Make sure we've got these wires all tucked in. Push down as far as they can so that way everything snaps together as easily as possible. Really digging the peg system for putting it together. Of course, I'm willing to listen if you've got other strategies you want to share. Of course, the moment of truth, we've got the adapter plugged in, and let's stuff that wire into the connector, and bingo, we've got lights. How cool is that? We'll shut off the lights to really light it up. I'd love to have all the RGB colors, but of course, these coming off a drone, we are only getting green. Really quickly, I'd like to say thanks to everybody that's been suggesting this project. I think it was an absolute blast, and I'm looking forward to future iterations. Of course, if you've got suggestions, I would love to hear them in the comments. Friends, as I close out this video, I do want to remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. I have got a page dedicated to Tinkercad, tons of amazing categories up above, and then down below, you can find the day one favorites, the useful starters, and finally, the Tinkercad essentials. Also, in the corner, friends, you can find the sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion to reach me almost instantly. I do also want to highlight the link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, there are a boatload of users, and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.